Near Asia, in the warm waters of the Pacific Ocean, is a group of islands called the Philippine Islands. If you wanted to visit someone living in the Philippine Islands, you would probably go first to Manila, the biggest city in the Philippines. From Manila's harbor, you might walk along the busy streets into one of the city's modern shopping districts. Here are city people you might like to visit. Or perhaps you'd like to go outside the city of Manila, away from its big buildings and harbor, and out to the peaceful farm countryside of the Philippines. Here one morning you might find farm people you'd like to visit. People like this man on the water buffalo. If we could spend a day with him, what do you suppose he'd tell us about the Philippines? Let's listen to him. We always get ready for work early, while the day is cool in my village. My barrio, as we call it. I see my neighbor Pablo is getting ready to go to his rice fields. He too has a water buffalo, what we call a carabao. Carabaos are used for doing heavy work, hauling loads, plowing fields and such. Although another of my neighbors, Cesar, has a modern tractor he uses in his large rice fields. Other neighbors of mine take the village bus to go shopping in the next barrio or to plantations where they work. Before I, too, go to work, I usually have breakfast at my house. I built it high above the damp ground of strong bamboo and nipa leaves which grow nearby. In our open kitchen, I see my wife Dolores is making breakfast. There is plenty of fresh fruit, papayas and mangoes from the trees around us. And we have, mmm, steaming hot rice from my rice fields, of course. My son Ramon is still asleep inside the house. But not for long. I can hear my daughter Juanita telling Ramon to wake up. Wake up, Ramon, she says. We're having a special treat for breakfast in honor of your birthday. Birthday? Ah, then Ramon remembers. Today he is nine years old. There is to be a party for him this afternoon, and many presents. He had better not sleep late today. So Ramon quickly rolls up his straw bed, his petate, it's called, and puts it away in the corner. Ramon goes to wash, while my daughter finishes setting the table. Though Juanita is only twelve years old, she is already a big help to her mother. I see she has set the table well. Soon Ramon comes back nice and clean. Happy birthday, I tell him, as we begin eating. In honor of Ramon's birthday, today with our rice we are eating to you. A kind of dried fish. Ramon likes it very much. But I think his mind is also on the presents he hopes to get later at his party. After breakfast, it is time for me to go to work in my rice fields. Soon the planting season starts, and I have much plowing to do. In a little while, my children leave too. Ramon and Juanita must also start out early from our house, for the public schools they attend are a long way from home. On their way, they pass our village stores, tiendas we call them, a name handed down from the Spanish, just as Ramon and Juanita's names are also Spanish. And they pass our village church. It is old, for it was built by the Spanish missionaries many years ago. At last they come to Juanita's school, the public high school she attends with her girlfriend. Before their classes begin, they like nothing better than a game of Luxong Lubit, what you might call jump rope. Before his classes start, Ramon likes to play too. At his elementary school, tug of war is a favorite game. Today, Ramon is the leader of his team. 
Later in class, Ramon is taught many subjects. One of his favorites is geography. In the classroom, English is spoken, and it is one of the main languages we use. Today, Ramon has a question about the United States. His teacher shows him the United States on the map of North America. In the meantime, in her high school, Juanita studies many subjects too. In home economics, she learns to sew fine patterns and do fancy stitching. Embroidery like this was first taught us by the Spaniards, and today it is an art many of our Philippine women are proud of. Meanwhile, my wife Dolores is finishing her shopping in our barrio. At the village stores, the tiendas, she can buy many of the things we do not make at home. Today she needs some seasoning to cook the food for Ramon's party. Then, her shopping done, my wife comes back home to start the cooking. At 12 o'clock, my children are out of school for the day. Other children will attend in the afternoon, but Ramon and Juanita now have work to do. Ramon will help me with the plowing, while Juanita comes home to help her mother. There is much to do to get ready for a party. First, Juanita sets the table. Later, she may take a turn at barbecuing the pig her mother has prepared. We call roast pig lechon. It is a treat we can afford only on special occasions. By late afternoon, Ramon and I have finished our plowing in my rice field. It must be ready for planting when our rainy season begins. The work has been hard for both of us and for my carabao. Now it is time to go home. So Ramon and I unhitch the carabao. Then we take him back to his place near the river. This is where he stays until I need him the next morning, deep in the cool, muddy water carabaos love so much. Then back we go, along the road to our village, to our house. There! Look, Ramon! What a sight! Everyone is gathered for the party. Happy birthday, they all call. His aunts and uncles and cousins and his school friends. Happy birthday, Ramon, they say. My Ramon is very pleased. What an honor to have so many people celebrate his birthday. Very politely, he kisses his grandmother's hand. She has a present for him. A pair of long pants, she says. Ramon thanks her and greets his grandfather, too. Grandfather also has a present for him. You see? A nice new shirt he brought all the way from Manila. Thank you, says Ramon. After he has cleaned up, Ramon thanks me and his mother, too, for the many presents, and the food being served at his party. Everyone enjoys eating some rice with the many delicious fruits and vegetables from our garden. And of course, Ramon's favorite, the chon, the roasted pork. Soon it is time for dancing. I watch with my family as my friends and neighbors enjoy themselves. We Filipinos like having a good time once in a while, for our way of life is usually pretty hard and simple. Of course, with a family like mine, it is a contented life too. For our children are our real riches. I work that tomorrow may be better for them. For my son Ramon and my daughter Juanita so that they, in turn, will make a better life for themselves and for other families of the Philippines.